What's up everybody, welcome back or to the channel. So today we're gonna to be doing another modification on my 2023 F350. And what we're gonna be doing today is adding a tailgate assist shock. Now first, I just wanna apologize for my voice. I've been getting over a bad head cold, but life goes on and we still gotta get things done. So one of the big things that really still annoys me about these trucks is as expensive as these trucks are, I'm really just shocked that these manufacturers are not putting shocks or some type of tailgate assist on them by the factory. When you're spending 75, 80,000 up to $100,000 on a truck, you should get some type of shock from the factory on your tailgate. So without further ado, let's jump in and let's get this started. And here, watch. That is ridiculous. A truck that costs over 75 grand should not have a tailgate that does that. But to get this fixed today, we're gonna be installing the DZ tailgate assist. Now I've been using the DZ tailgate assist on all of my trucks over the past 10 years. They're not very hard to install. So without further ado, let's jump in and let's get this started. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is down here on the driver's side lower portion of your tailgate, this bracket here, you're gonna take this top bolt out, which is the top right bolt, and you're just going to loosen the lower left bolt. Once you do that, we'll be able to slide on our bracket right here. So let me go do that and we'll be right back. Okay, so next, once you get your plate sat in position just like this, you're gonna go ahead and use the supply bolt that comes with the kit and it has blue Loctite on it already. You're gonna go ahead and put that in the top hole up here and get that tightened down nice and tight. So let me do that and we'll be right back. Okay, so now that we got the bracket tightened down and I have this top button bolt here tightened with my M5 Allen wrench here, once we got that done, we're gonna come up here. We're gonna go with a T50 Torx bit and unbolt that bolt there. So let me go ahead and do that and we'll be right back. Okay, once you get that bolt removed, you're gonna disconnect your cable here. It just has a little prong here. Just pull that back and the bolt pops right out. Then you're gonna take this bolt here and you're gonna slide it through this mounting plate right here, just like that. And you're gonna reinstall it just like that. So let me get that all tightened down and we'll be right back. Okay, next, you're gonna take your Mylar sheet here and you can stick it right to the side, right here where any of these cables might be rubbing up against the side of your bed. Now, depending on your truck, you might wanna cut a small piece to go over here on the inside over here, basically where this right here might rub down here. You could trim this into a couple different sections to put wherever you want. For now, I just put it right here on the side here because on my truck, there's not a whole lot of area over here that's gonna get rubbed. So use your best discretion, put your mylon sheet wherever these parts are going to rub, stick it to that body part there and you'll be good. The next step is we're gonna go ahead and install our shock. So when it comes to the shock, the top part here that's stationary is gonna go at the top up here. The bottom part that comes out in the shock that extends, that's gonna attach to the bottom right there. So they should just pop right on. So let me do that and we'll be right back. Okay, so we're back and we got the shock all hooked up. It's gonna look just like that. Now the next thing I had to do on my truck, this is a 2023 F350, is I had to remove this side bracket here. It was just bolted in right here and up here with these two T30 Torx bolts right here. It looks like this over here. It's more of a tailgate stop to bump up against this back rail here. But I had to remove it on the left side here because when this was sitting here just like that, it was hitting the shock and wouldn't let the tailgate shut. So all you have to do is remove that bracket if you have this bracket. If you don't have this bracket, don't worry about it. And now as you can see here, everything clears. So now when we go to open our tailgate, Now we have a shock. So there you go, everybody. That's how easy it is to install the DZ tailgate assist. I highly recommend this shock. I really just wish manufacturers would start including a shock like this on all of their trucks. But since they don't, we have to do it ourselves. So again, this is a great shock. I've been using this on all of my trucks for probably the past 10 years. I really like it. It works great. And it just makes opening your tailgate so much easier because you don't have to always worry about the tailgate flying down and slamming down on you. So there you go. So at the end of the day, my overall impressions of the DZ tailgate assist, I'm going to go ahead and give it a thumbs up and give it a go. It's a high quality shock. 
It's very easy to install and it definitely helps reduce the amount of weight of the tailgate slamming down. It really helps control that, which is always a good thing. Okay, everybody, so there you go. We just went ahead and installed the DZ tailgate assist on my 2023 F350. Installation is a breeze. It's very simple and easy, and it really just makes opening your tailgate so much better because you don't have to worry about it slamming down on you anymore. So if you're thinking about getting a shock for your truck tailgate, definitely consider the DZ tailgate assist. But that's it for today's video. I hope this video helps some of you out. Do me a favor, hit that thumbs up button and like this video. If you have any questions, go ahead and put them in the comment section and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And also do me a favor, subscribe to the channel because it definitely helps me out and I greatly appreciate it. So that's it. I just want to say thank you to each and every one of you. Thank you. I truly appreciate you all. And as always, See you in the next video.